morning. Thank you for tuning in. You are watching The Strange Acts of God, and I am your host, Nalong Urechuku. This program is brought to you by Streams of Joy International, the home of NSPPD. And if you're just hearing about NSPPD for the first time, where have you been? NSPPD is the new season's prophetic prayers and declarations. It is an online interdenominational prayer platform convened by Pastor Jerry Aze, where hundreds of thousands of us gather virtually from across different continents of the world to seek the face of God. We are those radical set of believers who believe and continue to declare that what God cannot do does not exist. Consequently, we have seen his strange acts break out amongst us. Today on The Strange Acts of God, we will be revisiting five of those strange acts that we saw in the course of the week. Returning to studio today is an excellent eye doctor, a firebrand pastor at Streams of Joy International, friend to the show and our guest consultant for today, Dr. DK Ukuku DK is in the house. Good morning, Dr. Morning, DK. Along. I'm so happy to be back here. So glad to have you back. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> um, back to back, um, yes, I'm going to say. Yes, yeah. yes. So we have five testimonies today. Okay. And our first two testimonies are eye healing testimonies. And um, we have our testimonies from Sister Ugochi. She's based in New York. And a sister from Streams of Joy, Abuja. Yes. Watch this and we'll be right back. Hi, Pastor Jerry, NSPPD crew and everyone. My name is Ubuchi. I'm making this video from New York. <laughs> so last year in November, I went to do some medical checkup and um, when I went to see the eye doctor, one of the things the doctor mentioned was that there were traces of glaucoma. Then I have this um, pterygium on my eye and um, one of the things that was recommended was that I would need to do a surgery and that surgery would entail that after the surgery, my eyes are going to be closed for about seven days. Now, the reason I'm in the United States is for school. And I just kept wondering, how was I going to cope if for seven days during the middle of a semester, <laughs> my eyes would be closed? What am I going to do? So they said I had to come back sometime in March for them to verify if the glaucoma is still there and then recommend the next phases of treatment. And then I would have to come back sometime in May to verify about the one that needed um, surgery. So I started praying about it. So every time I would come on the altar of fire, one of the things I would mention is that by the next time I would go for my medical checks, that everything is going to come out clean. And so time for the first one, I went and they said, there are no traces of glaucoma, you're fine. I said, okay, one down. <laughs> Let's wait for the other one before I make my video. And today I went to see the doctor because there's a particular specialist that you have to see. And so he was the one I met today. And he says, um, your eyes are good. Usually when people have to see me, it means it's bad, but you have good eyes. <laughs> so <laughs> there is not going to be any need for surgery. We're just going to give you um, some artificial tears and maybe one eye drop and you'd be just fine. So I'm just here to thank God for helping me clear out the glaucoma and helping me um, take care of this because I'm not going to need surgery for it. And I know that this is just the beginning of so much more because what God cannot do does not exist. I always go a step further and say, what God cannot do for Ugochi does not exist. So thank you so much. And everybody stay encouraged, keep praying. It's definitely going to happen. Thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. Um, for almost 15 years now, I've had um, myopia. Yeah, I can't see anything from far. And um, in service here, yeah, and the third service, um, when Papa was saying, uh, he just said some people have spiritual blindness. And he was just saying something that my prayer. Please, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want us to do something really very prophetic. It is not in line with my message, but I feel like we need to restructure. Some people are having spiritual eye problem. So I want God to heal. Either you're suffering from myopia or what are they now? Now, we need to correct our eyesight. Help me look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, what do you see? I was like, I beg God, my own no be spiritual. My own uh... A physical, but I mean, 
and I can't, I couldn't see from there. I was over there. I couldn't see from there. So, and I can't see this, this screen from there. I can't see anything written on it from there. So I had to use my phone to read the Bible. And I was just on my phone and then I just lifted my head up like this. And man, I could see, I could see, I could see clearly. Like I have a new eyes. Uh, normally if someone just tell me, I beg see this, I say, I beg, you know, see my eye, bring a come close. I did not even, I've taken it as a part of me like, no problem. You understand? My grandmother had eye problem. My mother had eye problem. I was just waiting for my turn, but I refused to wear glasses. I was just managing. I would be squinting and squinting and squinting. But I see times up. Hey! For like, I can, this I, can, I can see it clearly from afar. Like what God cannot do does not. I didn't even pray. Oh. I didn't do hey, 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 normally. Well, it's like I'll change my pattern now. I say, God, please, I need a car to a hair so that God will do it for me too. <laughs> what God cannot do. Yes, to what God oh my cannot God, oh my God, do does oh not God. exist. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited yes. hearing the last testimony. Yes. I've not seen, mm. and, I'm, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating, mm. I've not seen someone mm. in my years of practice yes. say, um, that myopia disappeared. Yes. I've not seen that happen before. Wow, yes, wow, I've not wow, seen that happen wow, before. Wow. There are things, yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah. Mm. But an adult at this mm. stage, mm. and she came to church not seeing very well, and mm. then, oh my God. Oh wow, my God, oh and my 15 God. years. So the question mm. of, was she really having myopia? Was she not? That doesn't even no, stand no, 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 at all. No, 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 that doesn't arise. Mm, doesn't even arise, arise at all. 15 years you myopia. Know, you know, when pe people that have myopia, eh, over time, you know you have it. Okay. People also know you have it. Right. Right, because someone is coming in this direction, and you're not seeing the person until the person comes really close. Yes. Or, or, or you don't even drive without glasses if mm. you have myopia, mm. and so on and so forth. So this girl comes into church, not seeing the screen, mm. not seeing clear enough, mm. and then the man of God was talking about hey, something different. Something and I feel different. particularly excited because I was there. He was hmm. not talking about people that have physical yes, myopia. Yes, 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 yes. He was talking about people, you know, because there was a scripture about behold, hmm. to see, hmm. and hmm. he was talking about that. And then this girl stretches her faith, and, and then we have this testimony. Ha! And, then, and, you know, when she said, I can see time up, it, I, it, time I, up. I was there, mm -hmm. and... Ha, the, the font size, if I'm to put it that way, of that 18 minutes plus of the time up, you have to be seeing well to see it at that distance. Right. Yeah, so for, from not seeing well, wow. and then so dramatically wow. within, oh my God. Wow. You see, um, there are things, maybe for me as an eye doctor, I've hmm. not seen this happen. Hmm. This doesn't usually happen. This There's is no cure for myopia. Um, there's no cure for myopia, but what yes. you do, uh, I mean, ultimately, when you have myopia, especially when your eyesight is that bad, you use lenses. Yes, you use right? lenses. Right, whether contact lenses or spectacle lenses. The hey. idea is you wear it, you put it on, you're able to see, you remove it, and your eyes back That's to where it, it is. That's it, you can't see. So, it's not, it's not something, it's not an, <laughs> it's not a kind of miracle. Well, it has to be a miracle for this yes, to happen. Yes, I have to yes, be frank yes, with you. Yes. It's not, it's not something that just, um, you wake up in the morning, it's there. Then by 12 noon, it's oh. no longer there. That doesn't happen. Oh. Oh. That doesn't happen. Oh. So um, I've seen testimonies, but I think this one, wow. this defies wow. my training wow. as an eye doctor because wow. you don't expect this to happen. Yes, yes. I've not seen this happen. Yes. I'm particularly excited because... Yes. It's, she just it, stretched her faith. She just stretched she her just faith. She just stretched her faith. And God just decided to do mm. something that... I don't know, mm, mm, something mm, out of the mm, normal, mm, something out of the blues. Mm. You know, the Bible says, you know, when Jesus was teaching, Luke 5, the mm. power of God was present to yeah, heal. Yeah. So as pastor was preaching, the mm. power of God was present. Definitely. He didn't necessarily Definitely. have to talk about myopia, Definitely. you know, your physical eyes mm. have problems. She stretched out mm. her faith and mm. she received her healing mm. just like that. Mm. Oh my goodness. And then we have our second testifier, Sister Ugochi. We mm. talked about last week, so I'm not really mm. going to dwell on that. Mm. Glaucoma yet again yet you, again you know it's um it's it, it still comes with a lot of excitement for yes. me particularly maybe because of my training mm. that there's been a diagnosis right of glaucoma yes which is not one thing that doctors are in a hurry to tell you that you have mm. so we don't we're not guessing when we say you have glaucoma mm. and then there's a diagnosis and you come back 
after a few months, we should be talking about whether it has moved from stage hmm. one to stage two, so to speak, yes. or the damage has gotten, um, has increased. Yes. And then we're now saying there's no trace anymore. Ah. It's, it may sound simple to her because hmm. she just went and they said there's no trace anymore, but it's not that simple. Mm. What should have happened is that, oh, it has gotten worse. Yes. That's what we expect. Yes. That's what I expect as a, as an eye doctor. If you come back after six months, it should have gotten at least a little worse. Hmm. If, if it hasn't gotten a little worse, at least it, it should still look as bad as it was as when it did previously, came. yes. So for her to come back and ah. she sees the senior person who should know what he's doing because we, we don't call you a senior person in for, practice for, no for nothing. Reason. And then the person is saying, there's no trace anymore. My goodness. Something happened in between. Hmm. And I think... God um, happened in this between. This may sound simple in her mouth as hmm. she was testifying, but this is a strange act of God. It is a strange act There are act a of lot God. of people believing God for a reversal of the diagnosis of glaucoma. And it is only God, and I dare say, even the drugs don't reverse glaucoma. Right. It is only God that can look at glaucoma and turn it around oh my and goodness. say glaucoma is no longer there. Hallelujah. So it's, it's, it's not a simple thing that has just happened. Mm. Yeah, she, mm. she kept it simple, you know, excited mm. and all that. Mm. Uh, but it's a big thing that just happened there. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Myopia, glaucoma. <laughs> you see that myopia one? That's my first time seeing it all my, my life. My goodness. And I'm not all your years of practice, you haven't seen a thing like that. Wow. In fact, wow. let me even shock you a wow. little more. In myopia, what yes. we expect is a worsening of myopia. Yes, yes. So, um, pro a lot of times, myopia is progressive. Mm. Yes, you can Google it. A lot of times, myopia is progressive. So, as a person is growing, it's getting worse, it's yes. growing, it's getting worse. And I can, on top of my head, I can mention my patients that I have seen move from one level of myopia to another. And then this girl comes to church. Mm. Having, Third generation yeah. so myopia. She said her mom had new, it, her grandma had it. She was it's expecting something it. she has had. Yes. And people, like I said, when you are people that short-sighted, people know yes. that you don't see yes. well. And they keep asking her, why are you squinting? You why are you squinting? That so, mm. And then all of a sudden, all she's of a sudden. seeing that from ah. where she was. And I looked at that thing. And, and the contrast hey. was not enough. And so for someone to see that hey. clearly at that distance, Instant more, than six, more than six meters Instant from healing. where she was, oh my God. Glory to God. God has outdone himself. Glory to this God. This means a lot to me personally hmm. because in practice, hmm. I've not seen this happen. My goodness. And and um, that that it was not even the prophecy. Right. Yeah. Right. There was no the word. Man, the man of he God was, was just teaching. talking about was just talking was about teaching. spiritual myopia mm. because the matter was about mm. behold. Mm. Next mm. thing, this mm. girl begins to behold physical. Uh, hey! What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Uh, I'm so excited. Wow, to hear this about is this. exciting. Mm. Glory mm. to God. Mm. Glory mm. to mm. God. Mm. Myopia, glaucoma, just like that. Mm. Instant healings, glory, glory to God. Mm. Our second testifier is from a mother of three children, and we have um, a child testifying on behalf of her mother. Mm. Both cases were healings from mental illness. You need to watch this. We'll be right back. Mm. I'm sharing this testimony to the glory of God. It all started in 2018 when one of my children all of a sudden went mad for I don't know what happened. We prayed and, you know, after some time, after like almost a month, it started, no, no even more than a month, it started getting better. But it took him a while. As we were about, as we were thanking God for bringing him back to himself, another, it struck another one of my children. And this has been on like so since 2018 from 2018 it has been back and forth it will start with another when another one is getting better it will strike another when the other one is getting better it will strike another three of my children pastor jerry three of my children and i don't know i was so confused what have i done who did this to me where did i go who did i wrong i had so many thoughts in my head but in all of this I was praying so fast forward I don't even know how I stumbled into an SPPD but I, I, I'm sure somebody must have been sending it to me so yeah I decided to click on the link I was praying but not too consistent January this year when the fasting was declared I started off 
from the from December. And then, but January this year, I told myself, let me give this a trial. Let me even be consistent. This whole issue of my children going, one of my child going into mental relapse and back, but that was just too much. But I kept on. The only thing I ask God is, Father, deliver my children. Even though it is from, from the generation, even though it is from whoever it is, but Lord, I am asking that you deliver my children. So yes, and the one that happened recently, or somewhere two three weeks ago it happened again and i was like god please take this pain from me i am asking you if indeed all these testimonies i've been hearing on this altar from different people if indeed you are the god that works i am from between now because when this thing happens it could take them like a month to to even come back to themselves but i said god i want to see your hand in this particular one that happened in the next one week and it happened on a thursday and that morning the prayer was going on i want to see your hand in this one that happened in the next one week i'm not going to be afraid because i have heard that what you cannot do god does not exist so do this one and then before you know it it happened that within that within that seven days that i asked god for i started seeing changes after the seven days i said let me wait and see, I started seeing changes in him. Then somewhere, I can't remember, it's not so long ago that Pastor Jerry mentioned that there is a woman on this altar, three of your children are mentally ill, mentally ill. And I keyed into it and I said, I take this for my children. The family of three persons that are mentally unstable, the family of three persons that are mentally unstable, Hear the word of the Lord. I can't tell myself. I law of mental instability. I command you. Red by fire. Red. Said three of your children, and I said this. He said, and he said, this is the last that you would ever see. And I said, Amen. My own time has come. This is my time. This is my time. And I came into it. And to the glory of God, till now. I have not heard anything or seen anything of such from my children. So I am here. I am here to testify and say, thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, the God that answers prayer. I want to thank him because I know that what he has done in the life of my ch three children, they are permanent. Never again will any of them have a, a mental relapse in the name of Jesus. And I also want to take the time to thank you, Pastor Jerry, for availing yourself. God will bless you, bless your ministry, bless everything that you stand for. Thank you so much. God bless you all. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, I'm Enima from Ghana, but I live in Italy. I joined NSPPD on the 10th of March, 2022, this year. I saw a woman giving her testimony on the platform and the mantra, what God cannot do does not exist, caught my attention. So I decided to join and it has been mind blowing. You know, I'm, I'm even feeling sorry that this thing has been on for the past two years and I've never come across it. I came across it on my Facebook feed. So I'm very grateful. My mother got ill. She was sick, mentally unstable. I was called on the 18th or the 19th of April that my mom is sick. So I had to send money to be able to, so that they'd be able to take her to the hospital. But then they took her, they did an x-ray on her mind to some test. And then they checked her blood pressure, which was around 212, which was very serious. So... I placed my mom on the altar and I started praying because when you talk to her, she doesn't remember anything. Like she has forgotten it, like mentally unstable, like she doesn't remember anything and it's not easy. So all I was seeing in my mind was, what oh, God cannot do, that's an excess. When I call her and then she, even she doesn't remember anything, I just say, say it after me, what oh, God cannot do, that's not an excess. She will say it after me, she will repeat after me. On the 21st of April, that was on Thursday, around 10 p.m. 
I went on um, YouTube to listen to more testimonies on NSVPD to boost my, you know, faith. So the following day was Friday, which was on the 22nd of April. But I let my family burst out. 23rd minutes into the prayer. Oh my God. Pastor Joe just mentioned my mother's case. You know, my mom has a twin sister and she's equally suffering from the same thing. Hers has been on, in, in, in place or in existence for ages now. My mom just had her say, like mentally unstable, both of them. So Pastor Jerry just mentioned their case. She, uh, Pastor Jerry was like, I see twins, twins, they are mentally unstable. This is the arrow of the devil. I see twins, my uh, that are mentally unstable, mentally unstable. They were not born like that. They were not born like that. My pastor, an arrow came, and both of them are mad. Both of them are mad. If you are connected to them, I'm a Shaddai, put it on the live stream, for deliverance has come, for upon Mount Zion, upon Mount Zion, there shall be healing, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, upon the Messiah, and your family will possess their possession, I command every arrow of mental sickness over those twins, Mama Messiah, I command, break by fire. I told my brother, my mom's case has been mentioned. Our mom's case has been mentioned. And then we prayed, we prayed, we prayed, we had faith to it. So on that day, I was on my way to work on the after, in the afternoon. And my brother called me that mom was healed. Mom can recollect everything. She's talking about, you know, recollecting all things they've spoken at length. And she, he, like, you know, I was super excited. I called my mom. My mom could recall recall everything she remembers everything i was like god god wouldn't fill me what god cannot do that's what i said so i'm here to retain all the glory and all the honor i thank god for everything that he has done in my life i thank god i i don't know if i had not met this altar what would, what, what, what would my story be all i'm praying is that pastor jerry may this altar never be a thing of the past Let's be in existence till our just next generation comes to meet it. You see this face? I'll come back with bigger and mega testimonies. What God cannot do does not exist indeed. Love you all. Wow. Ha! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my ha! God. Oh my God. Oh my ha! God. My um, goodness. Who, who? God is good. God, God you know, you know, um, hey! the testimonies we just watched now. The precision, precision of the, word, of of the of word. You know, when 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 a prophecy is coming or mm, a word of knowledge is mm, coming, mm. You, it may not be your own, but there's someone somewhere who yes, has that yes. and who has made a demand, yes. or who may not even have prayed, and God is just showing mercy mm. and saying, "I want. I've seen this person, and I want to reach out to this person today." Mm. I, I I feel particularly awed by the precision, precision of the of word the of word. knowledge, and the fact that God is looking out for people all over the world mm. on the altar of fire and saying, "Okay, mm. is this person's turn? Is your turn? Is mm. is Mr. A's turn? Is Miss mm. B's turn? And all that." And you know, the word comes. And it solves, like the Bible will say, he sent his word and, and it healed. He healed in the two different testimonies. You see that the word came and the word dealt with the situation. Oh my goodness. It's, it's exciting. Oh. It's exciting. If if there's, see, the word works. It does. The word works. And, yes. and, and I think that um, it is one thing that everybody has got to take away from the altar of fire. Yes. Everything that is being said is bringing forth a miracle somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, you can yes, just yes. place a demand and take it Yes, own. yes, yes, mm. yes. You know, I'm watching this and I'm having a tremendous amount of gratitude for mm. the platform called NSPPD. Definitely. What would have been the options mm. without, if NSPPD was not here, probably be mm. rushing to a hospital somewhere, mm. begin to do psychotherapy mm. or some kind of mental treatment mm. that would drag for years and years and years. Mm. But here we have God in one day address mm. mental illness that had plagued these families for years. The first testifier, she said 2018. Mm. That was um, when... Her first child, yes, you know, got mentally ill out of nowhere, no trigger, no trigger, mm. no trauma, mm. no nothing. Mm. You know, it began, kept on for one month. Mm. As it was coming to an end, the next one, mm. her second child, you know, was afflicted, you know, with mm. mental illness. Mm. And then her third child. And it's mm. been that way, mm. back to back, handing over to the next person 
for it's four like, it's years. It's like negativity handing over yes, to negativity. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's like you know, progressive, progressive negativity. negativity. And it's it's not a sign it's an evil of pattern. the presence of God. Mm, it's an mm, evil pattern. Mm, and mm. you know, particularly, you know, while, while we're watching these two testimonies, yes, um, one of one of the expressions mm. of a demonic activity mm. is madness. One of the yes, expressions. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Now, unfortunately, like the man at the tomb of God in, in uh, Mark chapter 5, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you see that the man was afflicted by demons, yes. but people were trying to tie him. Mm. And at some point they told Jesus, no man could tame him. Mm. You will try to bind him with chains and he plucks all, all the chains asunder and gets into the wilderness and all that. So mm. madness is not a fruit of the spirit. How, Madness how is an act of the enemy. Yes. It's an act of the enemy. So you see that these people were doing things and the man of God, when he was giving the word of God, he said, this is an arrow. It's an arrow. It came from the enemy. Yes, came from it, the it enemy. They weren't born the, that way. Yes, they weren't born that way. It came just like the, um, the uh, Jesus would tell a parable and said, a good man sowed good seed. Yes. And while men slept, yes. his enemy came his enemy and came. put something that was not there ah. at the beginning. So, and what I ah. see here is that they came to the altar of fire or they had someone standing in for them mm. at, in the altar of fire and what was not there, what God did not plant was what uprooted. What God did not plant. And, and this is how I know that anybody that is watching this testimony, now testimonies are like prophecies. Yes. And the man of God will always say yes. it's like a prophecy. That when madness has not been planted by God in your family and mm. you're watching this, it, mm. that is how it is going to be uprooted. That's Amen. how it is going to become a thing of the past yes. by reason of the testimonies that have yes. been gone forth. Yes, 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 mm. yes, yes. God, mm. this is phenomenal. Mm. So you can imagine the word went forth. Mm. But the second testifier, Miss Eina, Miss Eina from Ghana, yes. her mother and her twin sister. Mm. The first one, you know, had been having, I think, some form of dementia yes. as well as mental illness for mm. years. Mm. And to their surprise, the twin sister no trauma again, no mm. known cause, mm. out of the blues, and mm. then she's mentally ill as mm. well. Mm. On the 18th of April, she said, mm. a couple of days later, and a precise word went forth. Mm. Precise word. Twin sisters, mm. mental illness. Mm. And a couple of days later, mm. her brother calls. Her mom has been fully healed, fully restored. She's coherent. She's mm. talking well, speaking well, mm. and can remember things that happened from years past. God is awesome. You know, you know, uh, um, Part of what, as I listened to the second testimony particularly, you know, there, there were a lot of issues there budging on senile dementia. Yes. Oh, well, dementia, not necessarily senile, because I don't know how old the person is. Right. Now, that's a big problem on its own. Mm -hmm. That someone cannot remember, say, family members. Can't remember That anything. someone sees the daughter or the son and does not remember that they, oh, this is my son, this is my ah. daughter. It's not a very simple problem. No, it's not. And then all of a sudden, there's a reversal ah, on the other based on a prophecy. So it's not, hey. um, you know, you know um, if it has not happened to you, oh. and, and I, I don't pray that people suffer some of these problems, mm, but mm, it, mm. you need to see someone it has happened to, yes, to, understand, to understand the weight to fully of, comprehend of it. this testimony. Yes. That you're, it's not just that um, you're not remembering what you're not remembering is that I don't know that you are my you are my daughter. Oh my I don't know you're my wife. I don't know you're my child and mm. all that. That's not that's a very serious matter. And then all of a sudden Kalada there's a reversal, and the person is hey! now remembering things that should have been forgotten. Yes. Things, you know, yes, very yes, distant. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. You know, God, God is God is a good God. God is a good God. God knows how to show that He is the one that has done it. Mm. So, you know, if it's to remember something that happened yesterday, you will say, mm, Well, mm, it's still mm, recent. Mm. So, 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 so let me make it so clear that I've yes, done that it. I've done so it. the person is now remembering, remembering things. The person from is ages ago. Oh my God. Oh God my is good. God. God, God is, is good. good. God mm. is good. Mm. Twin mm. sisters. Mm. We're still waiting mm. for the completion of that testimony. And I know it will yes. be completed. Yes, 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 yes. Because mm. he who has begun a good work Definitely. will be faithful to complete it. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal mm -hmm. testimony. Mm -hmm. Mental illness. Mother testifying on behalf of three children. Mm. Oh my God. And you know, um, three for, children. For the devil to look at three children. Oh, and shut say, up. Let me make three hey! of them. Hey! So this is an affliction. Mm. This is not a gift of God. Mm. For the Bible says every good and perfect, perfect gift, gift comes from above, from the Father of light, yes. in whom there is no variableness, neither a shadow of turning. So why 
is madness, not locating even only one. Hmm. Why is he going Three. around? And the same pattern, it and lasts pattern, for a yes. month. It lasts for at least one month and then hands over to the next child I, for four years. But I, I like how God has reversed this. God has reversed in, it. That in the periods under yes. review that they're talking about, yes, yes, yes. not one of them has had the, not the, one. the mental And the meltdown anymore. that led mm. to her pressing in for her miracle mm. lasted for about seven days. She said, mm. God, show me a sign that this has been taken care mm. of. Mm. And as opposed to the usual cycle of one month, this mm. lasted for five days and the because snare Because there's broken. been a divine interruption. Yes, yes, when yes. When God turns around the captivity of Zion, yes, negativity yes, yes. does not complete its cycle. Yes, mm. yes, mm. yes. Mm. This is phenomenal. Mm. This is this can only, only be it's the a hand strange of God. Act of God. This can only be the hand of God. Mm. This cannot be doctors. This cannot be science. This cannot mm. be medication. Mm. It is, in fact, a strange mm. act of God. That's true. Glory to God. That's true. So our third and final testimony comes from a testifier from Streams of Joy Abuja. Um, she testifies about a supernatural turnaround. Click on the share button if you are yet to do so. Someone needs to benefit from this testimony. Mm. We'll be right back. I am that woman that God showed mercy in my family. When I joined this commission on that April 18, 2021, I came as a desperate woman. Uh -huh. I came without any hope. I've been believing God for so many things. And after that prayer, when I came, I said, this is where I belong. I've been praying to God for so many things. Federal government has been owing us. They have refused to pay. I said, okay, this is where it will end. On the 8th of September, in the third service, Pastor Jerry made a, 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 a prophecy. He said, speak in tongues for 15 minutes for 15 days. And your world, he said, the kind of doors that God will open. I said, that is my word. I got home on Monday, I started. I started speaking in tongues the first day, second day, fourth, to the 15th day. And I ended it there as if nothing happened. I said, God, that is your word. I have done my own part and you will do your own bit. Confirm the word of your prophet in the house. And I left it. On the 31st of December, Pastor Jerry declared, he said, all the things you admire and say, God, when will it be my turn? I will use January to March to release it to you. And I claimed it. When I joined NSPPD, these are the pictures I downloaded. I downloaded, yes, dollars. I downloaded money. I needed... I needed a warehouse of my own. I've been on lease and I've been getting harassment. In the line of business that I belong, I decided I needed to diversify. I needed trailers. I have trucks. I say, I need trailers. While I was making this download, of course, you always want to download one. But in the process of printing it out, I downloaded, I printed two. I said, God, this is you confirming your word. These are the pictures. When I downloaded these two, I, I, I kept praying on it. Usually, you cannot do the same thing over and over again and expect a change. When, it, when the prayer of fasting came 21 days, yes, I usually do fasting. But Saturday and Sunday is assumed to be a break. But when I came in this year, 21 days fasting, I said, no, Saturday and Sunday, it is not a break. Pastor Jerry will say, come to the church. And I, I made sure nothing stopped me from completing the 21 days fasting and prayer. February 24th, there is a pattern. Whenever federal government wants to pay us that money, Something must happen. Either they will say, we'll run, we'll run and bring the account number. At the end of the day, we we'll never get that money. But in February, Pastor Jerry was, we keep declaring that pattern, that thing you fear most will not happen. That thing will not end in the way. The news came that they want to pay again. We submitted, every other person has gotten their allowance. We didn't get. Everybody, my husband should like say, it's the same thing now. You know, I said, no, this time around, it will not work. Oh, because this thing is tied down so, so, to so many testimonies. And on the 24th of February, Pastor Jerry was declared on SPPD on Thursday. He said, that delay will not happen. You must receive your congratulations. In one hour, receive that good news. Brethren, I needed to do a push. I get to my account, delete it. I said, I must push this thing because in one hour, I must get that alert. In exactly one hour, I was just coming down from the car. I just said the car came, it has dropped. I rode like never before. This is the kind of the kind of dropping that will shut down an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I didn't know how to behave, but I just knelt down in the middle of the road. I said, God, I thank you for taking away this shame. Now, the two trailer that I needed. I didn't even know it was in this time. I don't know that. I wrote on the 21st of March. This is it. It's not a new paper. But I discovered that it was on the 21st of March. 
I got those two trailers. And I said, what God cannot do? I said, bring the sticker. This is what God cannot do. And it must be in those vehicles. I sticked it. What God cannot do does not exist. As if that was not enough. I just go and say, the wells that is beside the warehouse that I list, miraculously, we acquire that warehouse. I am coming back to dedicate that warehouse by next month. On Sunday, I got them. I was just sitting there. My husband said, ah, that car, I downloaded a Lexus. I needed a Lexus Jeep. It was a Lexus Jeep I wanted. When he came, he said, ah, that came because I normally put it in my status every time. I said, what God cannot do does not exist. He said, that you used to put in your, uh, your status. I said, what God cannot do does not exist because me, I was already satisfied with what God has done for me. So I wasn't even expecting a car. He said, let us go out. I said, okay, I followed. He took me to Koskaris. I said, this place is above me. Oh. He said, no, and God let us go. We got there. The marketer came out. He said, he said this BMW X7 series, the latest model. I said, this will be good. I said, madam, not good there. This is what we want, we know yet. My husband don't look at me. Do you like it? I said, they're not the ask two times. I love it. He said, it's yours. <laughs> me was thinking that it has, that it don't finish, oh. He said, another one, you wanted the leg, that Lexus. You wanted Toyota. He brought out the, the, the Land Cruiser. He said, that one too is yours. So God gave me two. I've come to return all the glory to God. It's not only sickness and healing. Prosperity is here. Wealth is here. And as we be, it's a total package. It's a total package. All things are working for my family. Hey, hey. Ha! <laughs> Woo! My goodness. Oh, my God. Hey! It's a total, you know, she kept saying it's a total package. package. And I agree, it's hey, a total package. It's did you see those cars? Tear oh rubber. Luxury cars. Ooh. Luxury cars. Ooh. You see the way God does his things. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh my God. Oh this my is God. a phenomenal testimony. Ooh. Can you imagine in one year, in her own words, she came to Streams of Joy Abuja, April 18th, that was our inaugural yes, service yes, in Abuja, yes, yes. as a desperate woman. Mm. And all of these have happened in the course of one year. This is what I call a supernatural turnaround. You know, the psalmist said, when God turned, turned. around the hey. captivity of Zion, we were like men that, you know, this sounds like a, a dream. dream. You know, how, how does a woman move oh. from um, a bad place yes. to... A very to beautiful, a very beautiful, beautiful place. place. You know, it's like God just removing every trace of ah. what you went through. It's like God turning things around so much that it's difficult mm, for people mm, mm, to mm. reconcile where you used to be with where God has brought you. And within such a short period of time and breaking cycles in the process, because she said, yes. sometimes you're told you're about to be paid. Next thing, you're not paid. The cycle of delay. Like something um, that has been happening before yes. stopped happening. Mm. This, you see, the altar of fire is oh. not, like she said, it's a total package. Oh. So if yours is a matter of delay, bring it to the altar of fire. Mm. If yours is a matter of um, stagnation, if yours is a matter of lack of favor, mm. whatever it is, whatever bring it to the, the altar issue. of fire. You, your solution is oh. here waiting. And you know she's right. Mm. There's a misconception that mm. we just addressed. Healings yeah, just for healing. people that want to no. be healed from one kind of mm. sickness or the other. But mm. this is a change of story. This yes. is an open yes. heaven. This is a financial yes. breakthrough. Mm. This is phenomenal. Mm. You can imagine, I'm so, I'm so, there's so many lessons to learn yeah. from this woman. Yes. You know, it didn't just happen by chance. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. she took steps. There were steps that she took. You know, I see you know the downloading of pictures. Of pictures. If, if there's anyone who has ever taken that for granted, mm. I think this is the time to start yes. downloading yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. Because you downloaded pictures and just believed God, mm. and then it's like God responded. You know, sometimes they, they, um, the Bible says it, he uses the foolish things of this world to, to confound the, the wisdom wise. of the wise. How do I download a picture? Download a picture. And I come to God and I say, God, of course, oh. based on prophetic instruction, yes. and I come to the altar of fire and, okay, present those pictures before God, and then I present it. Yes. And then in a matter of 
days or weeks. Oh. What I downloaded as a picture, no. God or orchestrates, orchestrates a chain it. of events oh. to make it my reality. And I'm just. And what's if I, exciting if, was that she downloaded two by mistake. By mistake. By mistake. Was, the intention course. was not to download twice. Yes. But and then just, God gives her two. And God looks at a mistake. The mistake. And says, you know what? And gives her Let's two make it happen. Cars. Oh, oh Shadavata. Hey. Is, it's only God that can be hey. God. It's only because if it's a human being oh, that is distributing this, a human being will say, okay, ah, you have, uh, take one. Yes. Let's give to other people. Oh. But the God who gives... Oh, not even her mistake, her error. Oh, Shadabata. The, hey. God, the God who sees what that you, uh, you're you asking for one, and mm. he says, you know what, let me make it two. Let me make it two. Let me double it. Let me give you more. And then more. she wanted a Prado, she wanted a, a what, a Toyota she, Jeep. She talks about a Lexus or was and it all that. She gets she wanted this. A Jeep. And God didn't just give her that. He mm. gave her a second car. He gave mm. her Jara. Mm. Another mm. luxury car in addition you know, to that. Those are not cars you buy when you're broke. No, ah. Uh, no. So I'm no, considering no. where they were mm -hmm, when she mm -hmm, came mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how God has turned around the situation. Oh. Now, it's beyond just oh. what she's able to do now. It's about the fact that God has relocated her from where they oh. used to be to a better place, to a where, better place where you can say, let to me a take better you out. Place. Oh, and, and in one day, you hey! go and buy two very high-end exotic, exotic cars. Exotic cars. Cars you don't buy when you're broke. Hmm. Man, that's a change of story. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That, that's God rewriting, rewriting. the story rewriting. of a family that was frustrated yes, yes. just about one year yes, before yes. now. Yes, yes. And not just mm. that. God wasn't done with her. Mm. In addition to that, they were tenants. They were mm. occupying a place and God gave them their own place. So she moved from being the tenant of a warehouse to the owner. To having her own, to, having to possessing her own, the next one. To possessing and acquiring the next mm, one for herself. Mm, mm. And then, of course, there's the alert, the delayed payment mm. that had been there. You know, you know uh, there the are miracles God gives Kala you. Data. And hey. some things that used to be impossible, hey. you don't need to pray about them again. They just start becoming possible. Hey. There, there's a kind of provision that God makes available to mm, you, mm. Some, th some prayer points, you no longer need to pray about some things. Mm, mm, so mm. she's not praying about, I want to buy extra. Mm. She's now able, a woman that was frustrated about frustrated. one year ago. Now frustrated. for me, oh, for me this is the exciting thing. Hey. You come to God busted, you come to God in a bad place and God says, you know what? Your situation is going to change. And it has changed. And there it are has witnesses. Changed. And there are people, you know, particularly, there were people talking about that woman saying, we know when she came. Yes. We know what her situation yes. was. Yes. And they are seeing it and they are in like, year, wow. In so a God year. made this happen. God has it, done oh exceedingly and abundantly God, above her imagination. Above her this. imagination. Mm. Only God can do this. Mm. I love mm. the way she esteemed the word. You know, the Bible says, mm. believe his prophets and prosper. Yeah. So she esteemed the word. She didn't take it casually. Mm. You see her right every single word not just did she esteem it she personalized mm -hmm, it mm -hmm, and she ran mm -hmm, with it mm -hmm. and i remember you know her friend said she told her friend mm. in an hour's time mm. this alert is going to drop mm. you know she personalized it she ran with it she mm. wrote it down mm. she believed it and god came through mm. god honored mm. his word mm. oh this testimony has god, blown my know, mind if, through and if through. you're if you're looking for a reason to believe god yes this woman for me oh is more than enough reason for you to believe god mm. believe now the bible says of this god that whoever comes to god must come believing, believing that, he, that is, he is and that he is a rewarder, a rewarder. of them diligently seeking diligent so you see you see the timeline of oh by 31st december it was still prophecy mm. by so and so time it was still prophecy and mm. then right now it is reality. Mm. From you prophecy know, to reality. To reality. I mm. love that he's a rewarder of them that diligently, diligently seek him. not just seek him, mm. diligent. Mm. God rewards diligence. So there are times diligence. when you feel like, okay, I've sought God enough. Yes. And I think I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm At that done. point, you know what? Keep seeking. Push. Keep Push. seeking. Keep seeking until your, your expectations hey. become your reality. And this one. There are witnesses to this testimony. It's not... Um, no, they <laughs> saw are, her yeah, Some of us were seeing her hmm. and we are now seeing You're that now God seeing her. has torn the torn the narrative of Zion. Oh my God. Hey. Um, what God cannot do does simply does not, not exist. exist. Mm. Mm. Period. Yes. Does not exist. Mm -hmm.
Oh, I'm blown away. This mm. testimony, this testimony is everything. You know how God is this my God. Uh, what? He's <laughs> our God. <laughs> our God? Our God is our my God. Our God is our God. Uh, oh, such a phenomenal oh testimony. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a show. Mm. What a lineup. Mm. What strange mm. acts of God mm. we have seen today. Mm. Our first testifiers, the two of them, mm. incurable eye conditions, mm. glaucoma, myopia. God healed it and he mm. healed one of them instantly, mm -hmm. instantly. Mm. You know, you were talking about um, her eyes not being able to see up to six centimeters, the no, eye no, test. No, 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 the, what she was seeing yes. was beyond, normally we, we test people's eyes with six meters. That's the testing, okay. standard okay. testing distance. Standard testing. What she was looking at was beyond six meters. Ha! And was not big, was small. Was small. In fact, I had to, <laughs> I had yes. to look at I told her, yes. I where the I was, distance between the screen where and was, where she was, was standing. more than six meters. And oh, I my this, oh my God. Hey! What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Does not does exist. Not exist. This it's, is it's, a clear it's not a case of healing. We're constrained for time. Yes. But if I had all the time, I would have talked a little more about that very first lady. Because myopia does not disappear. It's supposed to get worse. Yes. At, at, the, at age 10, it is at Susan so level. By 15, it's supposed to get worse. Hey! And if it's ever going to get better, not at that age. Hmm. So that God looks, God is messing up like, it's like God is an eye doctor right now. Hey! <laughs> God, God is in the eye profession right hey! now. God is, the main, sure God is the main eye doctor oh right now. Oh my goodness. So and she sees beyond the standard uh, line, the standard six meters know, measurement. Oh not, my God. Oh my God. You will, you will not God. understand what God hey! did. There. You will not understand what God did there. You my know, the, God. The, the funny thing is, even with spectacles for some people, they still can't see that yes. clearly. Oh. So that this woman or this young lady will stand where she is and she saw Beyond. Those, uh, 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 Beyond. Uh. Oh my God. And she was not like she said, she wasn't kabashing, kabashing. She just said, God, I know my own is she this. Just my kidding. Own is, just kidding. The power of atmosphere. Casually in a charged atmosphere. Mm. The mm. power of God was present to heal her mm. and mm. heal mm. her eyes mm. after 15 years. Mm. 15 years mm. myopia. Mm. Oh my goodness. Our second set of testimonies, a mother on behalf of her three children mm. and a child on behalf of her mom and mm. her twin sister. Mental illness, strange arrow. God overturned and overturned mm. and they are back. They are mm. regained mm. their mental consciousness yeah. and everything. God is awesome. Mm. And our third testimony for today. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What take God, me out. What God what cannot God do. What God cannot do. God needs to take hey, all of us out. <laughs> hey, God. Divine that's, that, turnaround. That's Supernatural mm. turnaround. Mm. Mm. This is divine settlement. This is so many things. It's this true. is divine settlement. Mm. My mm. God. Mm. Two trailers at the same time. Mm. Two luxury cars at mm. the same time. Mm. Credit alerts that is smashing down iPhone Pro Max. <laughs> <laughs> At, uh, at the same time, and she be becomes the owner of a warehouse, mm, a brand new warehouse mm, that she had mm, been eyeing. Mm, oh my mm, goodness. Mm. What a show we have had today. Mm, mm. What God cannot do does not exist. Mm. Pastor Dr. DK, thank mm. you for your time. Thank you. Say thank you something to our viewers. There's Before nothing more go. to say <laughs> than to say that what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Mm. Does not exist. Mm. Wow, what a show we have had today. Mm. Like our third testifier said, NSPPD is the total package. It's not just for healings, it's for everything. Mm. You need to be on the altar of fire. This is the place to be. This is the place to be. Mm. Monday, 7 a.m., NSPPD continues. Mm. Please do not come back alone. Make sure you invite someone. Bring mm. them along. They need to be partakers of what God is doing on the altar of fire. Mm. And the strange acts of God continues. Saturday morning, 7 a.m., Nigerian time. Do come back and do not come back alone. Have you clicked on the share mm. button today? Spread the word. Spread the fire. Let people know God is doing amazing, mind-blowing wonders in our midst. Let the world know and better still invite them to be partakers of what he's doing here and now.
Wow, do you have a testimony? Endeavor to send in your testimony to our testimony lines and be a blessing to another person. Pastor Dr. DK, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back two weeks in a row to, to just be a blessing to us. Such an amazing time we've had with you on the show today. Look forward to having you here again and again. It will be my pleasure. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. We'll see you same time next week. Till then, remember, what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist.